Welcome back. Bet you didn't know there's actually science behind making creative t-shirts. Here to show us how it's done is Chemical Kim, our favorite scientist. Oh, yes. I love this, Catherine. And you know, this activity is something with Mother's Day right around the corner. We get to make chromatography shirts for your mom I for a gift. Like it, I mean, what yeah. mother would not want a chromatography t-shirt, I mean, right? Look at exactly. It. Like great. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I did separation of colors using solvents, right? Oh, that's good. So, <laughs> really simple to teach you the the science lesson, Catherine. Mm -hmm. What I've done is I've taken some coffee filters and I've made strips. Okay. And what you're going to do is take a permanent marker. Okay. And I'm going to take a water soluble marker. Okay. Okay. And we're going to on this this white we I drew a little line with a pencil. Yes. And we're going to put three dots right on that. Line, right on the line. Right on the line. And then, because this is water soluble, I'm going to put it into a glass that has water in it. Okay. And then, because yours is um, a permanent marker, you're going to put it into a glass that has rubbing alcohol, which is isopropyl alcohol. Yes. And this does take a little bit of time, and I'm just uh -huh. going to speed things up a little bit quick so I can show you how we make the t-shirts. Yep. But what you're seeing is a separation of colors. And this is chromatography. Yes. The, the um, water soluble will, you, will be in the solvent of water, and the permanent marker will be in the solvent of isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. And this is what will actually end up as a result. This yes. is the water soluble, and you can see how the, how the colors separate it. Yes. And the molecule sizes are different, so they separate at different rates. That's Isn't what that you neat? get from this. That's what you get, and that's oh, from I love you that. know the black marker doing a separation called chromatography. Okay. okay. And you know you have to say that word, right? Kevin? Chromatography. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is make the shirts, and if you want them to be permanent, of course, using the permanent markers, mm -hmm. and just make a design. You're mm -hmm. going to. I'm going to grab a few markers here, okay. and we're going to make a few designs. You do it on your handkerchief, okay. and I'll do it on, you know, my little shirt here. Yes. And of course, this would be. I think my design will be one that every mother would want. Oh, you're making a for heart. Mother's Day. A heart? Are you kidding me, Catherine? <laughs> you're probably what, making a double a, helix. Why would uh, a mother want a heart for Mother's Day? <laughs> a mother would want a shape of the isopropyl alcohol molecule, I knew right? It. I mean, what mom would not want that? <laughs> okay, so we have our shapes, right? Yes. Now, what we're going to do, since we're using the permanent marker, yes. we're going to use the isopropyl alcohol. Okay. And this is definitely an activity for preschoolers. Yeah, um, you said you've done this with the young kids. Yes, for sure. And Fun. of course, you know, you're going to use the solvent that will separate the colors. Yes. So just go ahead and take some of the isopropyl alcohol and you can drop it onto your picture or, and I'll you're hold this gonna up. You're just going to dump, huh? I'm just going to pour this just so you can see how quickly they separate. Oh, yeah, it really and gets it going. And it does take a little bit of time. Now, don't use all my alcohol. i got some work to do over here. Isopropyl alcohol, right, Kim? Yes. Okay, and then what we'll see is the colors as the solvent starts to move those molecules. Mm -hmm. They'll start to separate. And if you have, for example, a purple, what colors make purple? Blue and red. Blue and red. So they'll as you let out. this, they'll bleed out. Oh. As you see... And I made this for my daughter, Maria, because, you know, I know she's making me some molecules, and I, I, I know that she'll <laughs> smile, so, you know, I did that. And I'm making this, actually, I'm making this for my daughter, Sophie. Oh, that's you know, so What cute. daughter would not want isopropyl alcohol, you know, t-shirt, right? I bet she's a hit at school. She's going to be the hit the at school. Fashion the police. fashion police. Everyone's going to want that. Yep. And then you can also do this activity on coffee filters with okay. doing, you know, different um, shapes and different, yes. you know, the kids can cut, cut out the, you know, heart shape if that's what they want, you know. Yeah. But, of course, you'd want to do molecule. So all we need are the and markers, the isopropyl the alcohol, alcohol. i.e. rubbing. Yep. And also, as another tip is that if they want to keep redoing, they could use water-soluble markers with water for the separation. Nice. And then wash it again and make another molecule. Look at my right? pretty rainbow. Rainbow? Oh, yes. And spectroscopy right there, Catherine. Excellent. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love this it's science. This science is great. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> and if you'd like some fun ideas and things to do with your kids, you can find activities from Chemical Kim on our website at WZZM13.com. Just click on Take 5 links.